Well, good morning, good morning for me anyways. It is 4.50 a.m. I am filming today's video on Memorial Day, so I hope that you had an amazing Memorial Day and thank you to everybody who lost their life serving our country. I know this is a little bit of a bittersweet day for some people, but again, thank you to everybody who currently serves or has served in our military. Our freedom absolutely depends on you and we very, very much appreciate you. So with that being said, I'm going to kick off my Memorial Day at boot camp. I'm so glad Julia decided to go ahead and have boot camp today. I wasn't sure because of it being a holiday and I have an immensely busy day today. We actually are getting my, I'm actually getting my nails done. So I'll take you guys with me to get my nails done. We are going to dinner with some friends tonight to a new restaurant that we haven't tried yet called Garage. It's a burger, rib, American food fair place. And apparently it's very modern and fun like there's a garage door that they'll open to let cool air in so that'll be really fun so I'm very much looking forward to dinner with our friends Donnie and Melissa today I have quite a few things to do work related it's just going to be an overall really busy day Troy will be gone for a few hours today hanging out with the dogs and just hopefully getting all of my work done before we head to dinner we are doing an early dinner tonight at four and I'm really excited to try this new restaurant out there's a high probability that I'll get a burger because I love a good burger and I've heard amazing things about their different burgers at this restaurant so it's going to be a good day but we absolutely have to kick it off with a workout I did have about half of my protein coffee this morning typically when I go to boot camp I only drink about half of it before I head out the door I'm only up for less than an hour before I go go to work out. So we'll finish up that protein coffee when I get home, get ready for the day, and then we will have a healthy breakfast. So I am home and I am ready for the day and I'm going to eat some breakfast. I have to head out in about an hour to go to my nail appointment. I do want to leave a little bit early because I think I'm going to get a second protein coffee or go to Starbucks and get my shots of espresso with a protein shake. I'm taking you guys with me, so you'll see when we get there. But let's eat some breakfast. I am super, super hungry. I also need to mix up my creatine post-workout. So I've been making this little high protein breakfast that I've really been loving. It keeps me super full. It is super low calorie, packed with protein. So what I've been doing is a quarter cup of egg whites. I put in my quarter cup of egg whites and then I've been using these Applegate sausage patties. You can use any protein source. And then I'm basically making an omelet. So I slice this up, put it on one half of my egg whites. And then I've been loving a slice of this reduced fat pepper jack cheese for that little bit of spice. It's so good with the sweet of the sausage. And then I've been doing some strawberries and making basically an egg white omelet. And then I'm... Oh. <laughs> I might put that in my video. <laughs> and then I've been... And then I'm going to mix up my One Up Nutrition creatine and then I sip on this after breakfast and this is in pineapple. I take this every single day. It helps support lean muscle mass, recover and repair broken down muscles from a workout. And I've been mixing that in my hydro jug cups. I've been loving, loving the hydro jug cups. I'm going to mix that up. I have a discount for hydro jug and one up nutrition. I will link them both down below for you, but let's make an omelet. All right. So I have a, I have a small pan heating up with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to do my one quarter cup of egg whites. And then I season that with some of this onion salt from Trader Joe's. I do like to let it cook about 50% before I add my sausage and cheese. Then I'm gonna add my sausage to half of my omelet and I just tear my slice of cheese in half, add it to right on top of the sausage. And then I just flip this over and just allow it to finish cooking until your eggs are cooked through. So here's my omelet. This, I'm telling you, is so good. So incredibly filling. And I have two whole strawberries that I just sliced two sliced up strawberries, so much protein, so low calorie, definitely, definitely keeps you full. Let me go ahead and mix up my creatine. I'm just getting ready to head out the door. I'm going to grab a protein shake 
order my Starbucks coffee ahead. We'll grab that on our way to my nails. But I just finished putting myself together, added all of my jewelry for the day, and I wanna share with you my necklace and a little bit of an update on the pieces that I have from Ana Luisa Jewelry. I love Ana Luisa. They are affordable, they're carbon neutral, and they are a brand that's committed not only to high quality jewelry pieces at an affordable price, but helping our environment by being carbon neutral. I've actually been wearing my Ana Luisa jewelry for quite a while. Every time I wear this particular necklace, you always ask where it's from. A lot of my staple pieces do come from Ana Luisa. I do love their necklaces. That's mainly what I have from the brand, but I wanted to give you a little bit of an update. They are very high quality and very comfortable pieces. No tarnishing at all. And that's with lotion, fragrance, anything on my body. None of the pieces have tarnished over time. All of their jewelry pieces come with a two year warranty. So I thought I'd show you a few of my favorite pieces or the ones that I wear quite re regularly. First, of course, is the one that I'm wearing right now. This is my all time favorite piece from the brand. This is called the Lore Mother of Pearl. And you can see that it has a beautiful pearl heart. I love that they're long lasting. Again, they have a two year warranty. They're hypoallergenic, water resistant, and carbon neutral. I have a couple other necklaces that I wear all the time. You've seen them many times in my video. First is the initial necklace, and then the other one is this absolutely beautiful green and gold necklace. Comes in both gold and silver, and I just love how dainty it is, yet it's a statement piece. You can layer this with other necklaces. It would re be really pretty layered with the Mother of Pearl necklace, but I do wear this one quite regularly as well. And then the other one, which is unique to my jewelry collection, is this beautiful piece right here with this gorgeous green stone. Green is one of my very favorite colors to wear. It can be paired with any neutral color, and I love the little bit more bold chain. Like I said, the quality of the pieces is exceptional. The price is extremely, extremely affordable, and I love that they do offer that two-year warranty. If you have any issues, questions, concerns, you can reach out to the company directly. So I will go ahead and link Ana Luisa down below for you. I'm loving my pieces and I'm wearing my beautiful mother of pearl necklace today. I'm on my way to grab my coffee. I brought my Alani new munchies protein shake with me. I really like this one mixed with Starbucks coffee. I don't know why it tastes better with Starbucks coffee than with my espresso machine at home, but it does. And that's going to give me my second protein supplement of the day, as well as 20 grams of protein. It'll keep me full through my nail appointment. When I left the house, I was thinking I'm a little bit hungry. I do have a meat stick in my purse. So worst case scenario, I can have a meat stick if I find that I'm hungry during my nail appointment. But I'm so excited to get new nails. Here are my current nails. You can see how awful and grown out they are. I'm going to be doing a bright summery nail. So of course I'll show those to you guys when I'm done. But let's grab my coffee really quick at Starbucks. I have about 15 minutes to get to my nail appointment. They're only about five minutes apart. So here's what I get quad shot of espresso in a venti cup with extra ice. This time I got blonde espresso. Sometimes I get regular espresso. I just really like the munchy shake with the blonde espresso. So it looks like that. Let's put in our protein shake. Now I usually can only put in part of my shake and then I take a few sips and then I can add a little bit more of my shake. I actually saw my friend Heidi when I was walking into Starbucks. She uh, just finished up at the gym so she was going to get a coffee too. So cheers. And like I said, I have to drink a few sips of this to add in the rest of my shake, but let's get going to my nail appointment. way home from my nail appointment and I am definitely hungry. I'm ready for some lunch. It's about 1030. I'm actually just finishing up the last little bit of my protein coffee and for lunch today I'm going to make what I had planned on making for dinner which is carne asada tacos. Since we're going out for dinner tonight I'm going to do dinner for lunch and then that way we'll have leftovers. Troy can have tacos when he gets home. So let's head home. Let's get some lunch going because like I said I am incredibly hungry. Let's see the babies. I'm sure they'll be sleeping on the couch when I go in. We'll give them a treat and we'll get started on lunch. So here are my new nails. We did just something kind of fun and summery. Bright pink with some orange and pink. All right, we're home. Let's see if we can sneak in on the dogs. Let's get treats. Let's get a treat. 
treats. Come on, Dad. Yes, go, Palmer. It's just Mommy. Palmer, it's just Mommy. Daddy's not here, bud. Come here. I know. I know. Come on. Let's get treats. Palmer thinks that Troy's home, and he's not. So it's a sad day for Palmer. Did weather disappear again? Here you go, babe. Palmer. He went back to the garage. Palmer, it's just mommy. It's just mommy, bud. Come here. It's just mommy. Hey, daddy's not here, honey. It's just mama. We just have to double check, huh? arrived. I'm really excited about this. So I ordered an LED mirror and I wasn't sure if I was going to put it in here in my beauty room, in my office, or put it in our guest room in case our guests want to have a lighted mirror in their room. Kind of like a hotel. You know, hotel has the mirror in the bathroom. Our guests do have a guest bathroom and then they have a mirror in the room. I'm really thinking that I want it right there where that decorative picture is. I think the mirror would look really nice there. And then I would have a lighted LED mirror to use in my beauty space, as well as it would add some light and some texture to the room in my background. I think that's what we're going to do, but let me show you the mirror I picked up. It is amazing and it is such nice quality and super affordable. Here is what the LED mirror looks like. Isn't that beautiful? It came so nicely packaged. It has these little protective pieces on the edge of the mirror. And then there is a film on the mirror that we will remove. It comes with everything you need to hang the mirror, directions, all of the hardware, the whole frame lights up. Oh, I'm so excited for this. I think it's going to look so nice on the wall right there in place of that piece of art. That piece of art is kind of falling apart anyway. So this is going to be perfect. This is so satisfying. Look at how amazing this is. Oh my gosh, I'm so incredibly excited. So this is the Mirkus LED Adjustable Brightness Mirror. This has anti-fog, adjustable color, and brightness. It's waterproof, has a memory function, touch button, and wall mounted. It comes in multiple different sizes. You can get it with a black frame or without the black frame. I did choose without the black frame. Mine is the 36 by 28. You can actually pick this up right off of Amazon or directly from the brand's website. I love it because you can say goodbye to dimly lit spaces and hello to a super clear reflection. Whether you're applying makeup, shaving, or taking care of your skin, the bright lights ensure you never miss a single detail. I love that it has anti-fog and memory function. It has an amazing array of color temperatures, raising from cozy to refreshing, all at your fingertips. It has shatterproof glass, so you don't have to worry about it breaking. It has a color rendering index of over 90, so that means it is extremely clear and the reflection is perfection. You can install it wall-mounted LED, or it does come with a cord if you want to connect it to a socket. They have small space options, large vanity options, and big house commercial use. It's beautiful, well-made, affordable, and extremely, extremely high quality. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it. Again, I love that you can change the different lighting. You can have cool tone lighting, warm lighting, more natural lighting. There's a deep and anti-fog option if you wanted to put this in a bathroom. A simple on and off switch for the mirror. I actually really like the aesthetic of this. I think it looks really nice with my background. And again, when I'm filming, I can pop the lights on. It'll add that nice glow. And then this is perfect to get ready as well. Fairly close to a full length mirror for me even. I love it. I really, really love it. So definitely check out the LED mirror. They have so many different sizes to choose from. If you wanted something smaller, something larger, it can be tailored to fit whatever room you want it in. It's also great, like I said, for a guest room or a kid's room, somewhere where they want, if there's a need to get ready in a room because it is backlit and LED, it's absolutely amazing quality, super affordable. So I will link it down below for you. So for lunch today, like I said, I'm making carne asada tacos. I just realized I used all of my fresh cilantro in my lunch meal prep. Dang it, I should have got a couple of bundles. So I do have some dried cilantro, but let me show you what you'll need. You'll need salt and pepper, steak of your choice. I'm using flank steak. It's a nice lean cut of steak. I have one pound. The recipe calls for two pounds. I'm going to cut the recipe in half. Steak is so expensive. Look how expensive this steak was. 
That is absolutely absurd. So we have one pound, and then I have dried cilantro, light butter, a small yellow onion, a couple of fresh limes, and then for the tortillas, I'm using these little white corn tortillas from the brand Guerrero. These are 50 calories each or 100 calories for two. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut up my steak, and I'm also going to slice up my onion. So I have a skillet heating up over a medium heat spray with nonstick cooking spray. I went ahead and diced up my steak. We're going to add that to the skillet along with half of our diced up onions. Half of those. Some salt and pepper. And then I went ahead and sliced my two limes in half and we're going to squeeze both limes over the meat. We like our steak pretty much well done, not any pink or very, very little pink. So cook it to your liking. I'm going to add in my cilantro. Then I'm going to melt a tiny bit of butter in a small skillet and we're going to lightly fry the tortilla. Frying is a loosely used, so we're actually going to just get them soft. Like I said, just cook them until they are soft. Just about done. It's looking really good, it smells amazing. And then we'll just kind of flip our tortilla once it's softened. So here are my tacos. Oh my gosh, these look amazing. I added 40 grams of avocado, so 20 grams each taco. And then I did two tablespoons or a quarter cup total of light shredded cheese over the two tacos. I'm so excited for these. I don't know if I'll have anything else. Of course, I'll let you guys know, but I'm going to start with two amazing carne asada tacos. I just realized I forgot to top my taco with the onions. That's why we set half of the onions aside. Whoops, I'll make sure I do that in my future tacos. So today's video is all about updates. I just got a question on Instagram and it prompted me to remind you and give you an update on the Carmen's Medicinals Hemp Gummies. These are these have 25 milligrams of broad spectrum hemp per gummy. You can see we've been loving these. This is our second bottle and it is just about gone. Troy loves taking these whenever he's doing anything physical. The Carmen's Medicinals gummies also have turmeric and ginger, which help with inflammation. And you know, both Troy and I suffer from inflammation. And in addition to the 25 milligrams of broad spectrum hemp. Perfect for people seeking a holistic approach to health. They offer a convenient and delicious way to support your daily wellness journey, embrace a balanced, more vibrant you in every bite. And unlike THC, the Carmen's Medicinals gummies won't give you any unwanted psychoactive effects. They're formulated with broad spectrum hemp, which has been shown to improve the body's response to stress, sleep, and pain. They're produced using a extract from the whole plant flower and stem, 100% USDA certified organic, and are free from harmful heavy metals, pesticides, and chemicals. They are lab tested and they take the highest quality standard of hemp per gummy. We, like I said, have been loving these. This is our second bottle. It is just about gone. We'll be ordering some more. So if you are in the market for a good hemp gummy, or you're looking for something that helps with inflammation, pain, sleep, just overall health and wellness, I can't recommend these enough. I will link Carmen's Medicinals down below for you with a discount, but you can bet we'll be ordering some more when this bottle is gone. I'm going to make a yogurt bowl for a afternoon snack. I am pretty hungry. So I'm going to do the marshmallow yogurt. This honestly is my favorite on a yogurt bowl. It is so incredibly delicious. I mean, seriously, seriously delicious. It's 80 calories, 12 grams of protein. And then I'm going to add on a quarter cup of Catalina Crunch cereal. This is the honey almond. This will give me some additional protein, five grams in a quarter cup. So that makes this 17 grams of protein. And then I'm going to do maybe one, maybe two. We'll see what I end up with. Probably one tablespoon of blueberry chia smash. Love this. In place of fruit, sometimes I like to just add the chia smash. I do have a discount code for Catalina Crunch and I do buy my chia smash off of Amazon. I'll link everything for you. 
but let's make up a yogurt bowl. So here is my yogurt bowl. So I have my yogurt, my one tablespoon of chia smash, quarter cup of Catalina Crunch. I like Catalina Crunch for the crunch on a yogurt bowl because it gives you some protein. This is going to be perfect. I may eat one more small thing before we head to dinner, but so far this is my afternoon snack. That's There's, your barbecue. Where are the hot dogs or anything else? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we just got home from dinner. You saw that I ate a portion of my burger, a few of my french fries. I am going to put my pajamas on for the night, but I wanted to show you what I'm going to do for dessert. So I'm going to have one of these Cleo bars, 100 calories, zero sugar Greek yogurt bar. I really, really like these, and they have a good amount of protein in them. Super satisfying, and then I have some fresh cut up watermelon in the fridge. Right there is a big bowl of watermelon. I'm probably going to have some watermelon as well, and that is going to finish out my full day of eating. So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW, tracking calories and protein. I hope you enjoyed it. coming along with me today, seeing how you can eat out and still stay on track, as well as all of the other amazing food that I had today. I will have the carne asada recipe on my website, so definitely check that out. It is linked in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, Everything I shared with you in today's video, Carmen's Medicinals, Anna Luisa, The Mirror, it's all in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Wednesday, friend. Here, friends. Here's to an amazing week, and I'll see you next time.